storming from the shadows, the thunderous roar of hooves upon dirt, the screams of men upon beasts' backs, and then the inevitable flash of steel swinging from atop a monstrous charging steed. For thousands of years, the noble horse has been a battle-changing weapon, an invaluable tool, from the mighty and devastating medieval cavalry charges to the monstrous Mongol Empire, guerrilla Indian attacks fighting against the invaders of America, to carrying the sick and injured, pulling artillery, and to the insane cavalry charges of World War I. The horse has always been with us, a special relationship between man and beast, and one that has quite literally changed the world. I'm DRBC007, and I'm bringing you another Battlefield Boot Camp. Although to us, the notion of riding a horse into battle against machine guns and tanks was... Why did you do this for... God's sake, always when I'm recording! Although to us the notion of riding a horse into battle against machine guns and tanks may seem absolutely insane, World War I was a very different war. One where the old ways were meeting the new, but horses played an important part and were just as devastating and effective in the right hands. You won't be a knight in shining armour, you won't save the princess, but you will be deadly, and I'm going to tell you how to succeed. Number 1. It's Night Time. The cavalry is very powerful in the right hands, but often lays neglected or cast aside, like that really pretty girl with a very annoying laugh. <laughs> However, like that girl, you may be passing up on an incredible opportunity, so give her the good stuff and she will reward you freaky good. Now jump upon your steed and charge into battle, for the cavalry has some hidden gems beneath those stampeding hooves. When spawning as the cavalry, you are in fact spawning as an elite cavalry unit, which has much higher health, almost akin to the sentry classes. Most people don't know this, but you are pretty damned hard to take down. You also have incredible mobility. You can heal and resupply ammo on the go, you can shoot, you can trample, and you can swipe your mighty one-hit kill sword. I'm not going to lie, the cavalry class is tricky, but with a little bit of tender care, you will wonder why you ever picked that tank. Number 2. Walking Tall like the previous point, you have the Herculean health when off of your noble steed. This does not change, and as you can throw down health packs, you can easily take out enemies toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Even an SMG-wielding youth will struggle to take you out, and then implode, as he struggles to comprehend how you killed him with just your sidearm! You become very sticky to get rid of, and you can use your sword. So use it. It's a thing of beauty, and you'll soon become the Picasso of death. Swipe, 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 Number three, way of the weapon. As the cavalry class, your weapons are somewhat limited. Your primary is the Russian 1895 Infantry, a powerful weapon which will mostly require two shots to take out an enemy, but it is a decent enough weapon. A handy pointer for this bad boy is that you can only fire it when at a canter, not while galloping. So if you're retreating or your health is slowly deteriorating, don't try to fire at that one extra soldier because you will slow down and could signal the end of you or your beautiful stallion. The other weapons included are your scimitar, a cavalry officer's most valued weapon, and a sidearm, plus anti-tank grenades. But your horse is still the most powerful weapon of all. Line up your enemies and charge! If you hit them, they are done for, squashed beneath the weight of your glory. When on foot and in close combat, use your sidearm. Because of your extra health, three to four shots from your pistol will usually kill any enemy, and you will live to return to the green pastures of Britain and into the arms of Annabel Rose. Number four, horsing around. When needing to turn quickly, you can push in the backwards direction and your horse will stop, rear up triumphantly, allowing you to then quickly turn. This does, however, pose its own problems, like the fact that you become an easier target than a big fat mama at an annual Your Mama's Joke convention. When on horseback, you need to be aware of your surroundings. You become your most lethal when in open ground, where you can gallop towards targets and speed away from them, taking your time to circle them before crippling your enemies, and sooner than you know it, they will fear you like the Reaper of death. Number five, horse doesn't make the man. I know the feeling when you see your superiors riding away into the sunset, you dream of taking their place, sitting atop that horse and riding into the history books, and then right in front of you, there she is, a stunning mare. She looks at you and legend beckons. You approach, jump atop her leather-bound saddle, and with sword in hand you feel immortal, but you are wrong! You stupid fool! You can't just become the cavalry, the cavalry becomes you! Mounting a horse may grant you the weapons, but you do not 
become the elite cavalry unit. When you dismount, you are still that measly soldier you were before. You do not gain the godly health and can easily be picked off. So if you wonder why you die so quickly on horseback, that may just be the reason why. Now get out of my sight! You make me sick! And for a bonus star, anti-tank. As cavalry, you have a smaller version of the assault class's anti-tank grenades. And although less powerful, they can still destroy enemy armor if you are smart. If you see a tank, jump from your horse and spam those grenades, then hit the ammo pouch and you instantly get another grenade. This way you can pretty much throw a constant stream of grenades and sometimes you can take out a tank single-handed. Now, the bond between man and animal has been formed. You feel ready to don your chest plate, to take your rifle, and to lift with honor your mighty sword. But are you prepared to wildly charge tanks, machine guns, gallop the distances to heal and restock your squad mates, to handle the weight of duty that has this day been thrust upon your inexperienced shoulders? So, as a master equestrian with the daring and cunning of the swiftest show jumper, and the ruthless courage that only a man rushing into death's embrace can display, I implore you, noble cavalry officer, charge those trenches, fight with the old against the new, and know that when you do meet that cold, fearsome end, it shan't be alone, for you will meet it with the noblest and most obedient animal there has ever been, and ever will be. For more tips, tricks, profound nonsense, and all things Battlefield 1, stay tuned and please do remember to like, share, and of course subscribe. I'm DRBZ007, signing off. <laughs>